Hello there guys, Heracross Gaming here and welcome to my Let's Look at Leo's Fortune. This is another episode for the Indie Showcase. It's an indie platformer I found recently on the PlayStation Network. And you're pretty much playing as this green kind of fluff scrunchy character with a really kick-ass moustache called Leo, or Leopold, uh, to give him his full name, whose fortune has gone missing. His gold has been taken from him by a mysterious thief and he is off in traversing through this world and various levels to find out who it was. So without further ado, Let's get into it. This is the first level and it's called Trickery Trail. You can traverse left and right. Oh, oh wow, cool. You can actually... It has some parkour elements to it, like slipping around. I mean, physics? What's that? <laughs> Why do we need physics in this? So you have some sort of... If you guys ever seen like those bathroom scrunchy sponges you use with like shower um try to think of it like uh -huh. sh you know like the shower gel you get it looks like one of those but green pretty cool though it's like a spore sort of thing like a flower fluff ball we're gonna head right oh dear bro So I'm guessing um, you're supposed to beat this level um, with the most amount of coins in a decent time limit or something. It seems to have trial yes. runs. Oh, I don't want to look at that. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Oh boy. Just keep heading right and jump over. We're now in this like mine treehouse oh. kind of section. I'm just blazing through this. Hopefully I don't make any mistakes. I'm trying not to. So yeah, his treasure... Wonder how it works. His gold, his treasure has been taken, and poor Leo here is trying to figure out who took it. We don't know who it is yet. Whoop, going very high there. And then we have this sort of wired contraption. Ah, there we go. It's going now. Oh, it's quite a bump there. Hmm. What's this now? So I press. Ah! Some sort of mechanical platform that I have to keep pressing X, keep tapping X, and eventually, there we go. It's lowered down. Now I can climb across. Picking up the coins. We are back in the cave. Picking up as many coins as I can. This one seems a lot simpler than unmechanical. Like yeah. Unmechanical, the puzzles seemed a lot more confusing. I don't know if that's because I'm just started, so. That the. <laughs> it just went big there and then he went off screen. Oh. Um. Aye. My first death. How annoying. I was supposed to do this. I accidentally left it a second or two too late. And I messed up there. What? What? Cheating death here. What? Too fast? Oh. Yep, yeah, too pro. Yep, you deserve that celebration, Leo. You're doing very well. What the? We are now in an underground section here. Try and float over and jump over these haunted ferris wheels or oh wow i did not mean to do that i did not mean to jump that early oh it goes across i jumped too early just keep heading right then i'm supposed to jump nah i know i'm supposed to i'm supposed to knock this ball onto there onto the death sign I'm supposed to go on there <laughs> then that creates a platform for me to go up i got it I've got a oh wow! I'm guessing I got a float over, or I got a float over. Yep, let's be very careful. Uh -huh. So you got a float over. Got to be very careful. Just keep uh -huh. heading right, and you should be fine. Okay, so that was Leo's Fortune for the PlayStation 4, a fun little indie game. I thought I'd give it a look see for the showcase. 
uh, pretty fun so far. I know I only played for the first level, I didn't want to keep it too long. Like, on Mechanical was nearly 15 minutes long, well it was about 12 minutes, but by with editing it was about 20 minutes with editing, so... Uh, the point was, it was quite long, so I wanted to keep this one a bit short, just to kind of give you guys uh, a look at what the gameplay is like, the physics, the mechanics, the puzzles, all that good stuff, uh, but I hope you've enjoyed nonetheless. I've been Heracross Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one.